Hello everyone, Complexity Geek here. Uh, we thought today we would take a detailed look at the code that makes my Zombieland simulation run. This is the basic Zombieland uh, simulation, the very first one that I wrote. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it does have some interesting code, so we'll take a look at that and uh, kind of see what we can see. For those of you that want to try and code your own simulations, this uh, might actually help out a little bit. All right. With any simulation, before you start, you have to define how many different breeds of turtles that you're going to be using. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the agents that are used in NetLogo are called turtles. Uh, for this uh, model, we have two different breeds. We have the uh, human and the zombie breed. Uh, that's taken care of up here with this with the breed statement, and then you define it inside the brackets. Uh, next, you have to define any global variables that you have in the simulation. Uh, for this one I have percent human and percent zombie. Um, actually when this model was finished I ended up not using the percent variables. If I wanted to go back and include a, uh, a real-time graph of the percentage of each I could use those two variables. Uh, the other variables that are included are the turtles own. These are variables that apply directly to the turtles. Uh, speed, how fast the agents can move. Then we have zombie near and human near, which is used to uh, hold a value when the agent detects uh, uh, an agent of the other breed near it. Um, scared is a variable for the human turtles, and hungry is a variable for the zombie turtles. Uh, with any simulation, you have to set up the simulation. That's done with this uh, set of commands here. Anytime you want an actual procedure to run, you start with a two and end with an end in this uh, in this program. So to run the procedure setup, I have some sub procedures defined here. We have clear all, set up agents, pop check, and reset ticks. The clear all clears your Board, your patch board of all previously uh, created turtles. Uh, setup agents is a subroutine that sets the agents up based on the settings that you have in the program. Population check is just simply an error check to make sure that you don't create more agents than your field can hold. And the reset ticks sets the iteration counter back to zero so that you can start when you start the simulation fresh. You start out at zero and you can see how many ticks the simulation ran before it came to its completion. Uh, to get the actual simulation to run, you have a go button on your interface. And when you hit that, it runs the to go procedure. Here I just have one. Scared check is a sub procedure and then tick increases the tick counter by one. All right, so let's look at the different sub procedures we've got set up for this. Okay, so to set up agents, this is what happens when you press the setup button. And your variables that this uses are these sliders here, the initial humans and the initial zombies. Uh, you can set anywhere from 1 to 100 on these. All right, so it takes that um, number and pops it here for your initial number. All right, so we have to set a default shape for each one of the zombies. We just used person for both of them. That's, that's here, set up shape for the zombie, and then set up shape for the human. You ask the number of patches indicated by the initial zombie slider to sprout one zombie and set that color to red. And then you do the same for the humans. You ask the, the number of patches indicated by the initial human slider to sprout one human on each patch and set that color to blue so that we can tell them apart. And that's all the setup agents does. Now once you're running here with the go, it does a scared check. Okay, so with the scared check, it asks each human agent set the zombie near count. It looks at all the turtles on neighbors, which looks at all the patches that are around that turtle if there's any turtles of the breed zombie. If it is, it sets the zombie speed equal to the human speed that is set with the 
human speed slider and then moves the human at that rate to another spot by, see, by using this ask human with scared so he's a zombie zero he's scared he's going to go find a new spot and then that's another sub procedure once it's asked all the humans and it goes and asks the zombies the same question if there's any humans nearby it moves toward them and tries to eat them then this procedure the find new spot this allows the agent to move to a new patch um, we're just basically doing random at this point there's no directed movement toward or away the other agents it just randomly moves it chooses a random direction out of a 360 degree compass and then a random float equal to the speed and if there's any other turtles there in the case of if, if there was another turtle there being a zombie it would run the convert procedure which is right here any turtles on the patch that are set there set the breed to zombie and set the color to red thereby turning the human agent into a zombie agent um, at this point um, with this thing the to seek brains procedure doesn't do anything because we're not actually ac having them actively seek everything is just random in this model the last procedure that's on the code is the population check and it just basically checks to make sure that the initial zombies plus initial humans is greater or less than the count of the, the total count of the patches available in the field if it isn't then it'll pop a message up and says this zombie land only has room for so many patches of agents and then stops the procedure pretty simple uh, but it does make for some interesting movement on here all right there we go all zombies um, please feel free to use any of the code snippets in this in this program for any simulations that you create yourself uh, just ask if you do please cite me as the source thank you and have a great day